our plans are. Okay. Is on. One second. Sorry, Ron. Is on. Uh, just one second. Got it. Ron's recording us. Okay, we're going. Yeah. Ron's doing a, um, he wants to make a training video for like how to do an action or a planning meeting for action. Anyway, yeah. Visual meeting notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, uh, Car Carol, would you like to ex uh, introduce um, the, the plan or would you like me to? It doesn't really matter to me. Carol, can you hear me? Woohoo, Carol. Can you, can every, Karen and Ken, Mailing, can you hear me? Maybe ra raise your, okay. Yeah. Okay, I think. I, the. Sorry, you guys. I think this is Lisa. I got to cannot understand, Linda. Ooh. Hang on just a second. Carol's having technical problems. I got to text her. So uh, I, think it's a band, I think it's a bandwidth issue. Uh, hold on one minute. Hang on, guys. I'm making an adjustment. Carol, raise your hand if you can hear me clearly. Yes, I can hear you clearly. Okay. okay. Your Carol, your connection uh, is non-optimal. Uh, are you on a computer or a phone? Uh, I was on the phone. I thought I got it unhooked. Um, I'm not sure if I'm, I never connected really. I was just looking for the website with my phone. I am on a laptop and I'm on Zoom. No, and can you. you guys hear me clearly? Yeah. Yes or no? Yes, yeah. I can it's hear you. Yeah, we can hear you clearly, Carol. But Linda, it, Linda, yeah, Carol, it's not Zoom. Uh, it's it's Jitsi. If you look at your URL, J I T dot S I. Yes, I saw that it was Jitsi. I clicked, yeah clicked on the link to get. It. I clicked here to get there. Okay, so make sure your phone. I mean, I clicked on the link to get here. Yeah, Carol, make sure your phone is not also connected. Uh, I don't think it is because I would see it as another square. So uh, that's probably fine. No, no, it's not. Okay. The other thing is, is for yeah. anyone it's not experiencing problems, you can turn off your video uh, in the lower middle part of your screen. Mm -hmm. uh, the icons will appear as you move the cursor down or if you're on a touch uh, device, move your finger down to the bottom and you can tap the video icon and that'll decrease the bandwidth you're using up so your voice should be more clear. Mm. Notice I have my video off and I did that mainly because I'm theoretically not in the meeting other than as the engineer. Yeah, right, okay, okay, great. Are we ready to begin? Okay, I've clicked off my video. And that's good. I hope so. So uh, Lisa was going to the call. Did she leave? She has not um, uh, arrived yet. And I just texted her. Um, yeah. So uh, um, maybe while we're waiting for Lisa to join, maybe Carol, you and I can explain to the rest, just introduce what we're doing to May Lynn and Karen and Ken and Ron. Mm -hmm. Does that sound um, good? Sure. I just okay. Yes, go Can ahead. Can I interrupt one second, Linda? I, yeah. I have a dentist appointment, so I'm going to have to cut out early. I just wanted to let you know. Oh, okay. Why. How much time do you have, Maylin? I need to leave like at, um, I don't know, 20 to, 20 to 6 or so. Oh, so I good. have a good 20 yeah. minutes. Oh, that's yeah. great. We should, we should be quick. Yeah. Ron's really sweet. He's letting us have this whole meeting, but we'll, we'll try to be quick. Sorry, you guys. I'm kind of sweaty. I was just delivering bread. And I'm still hot. But anyway... Um, yeah, uh, uh, Carol, do you want me, do you want to describe what we're doing or do you want me to describe and we can take turns? Mm. Well, what, why don't you start? Okay. I'll start and we'll, we'll tag team. Okay. Hey team. Um, 
We're ready to do another action uh, for the U.S. Postal Service. Uh, as you probably heard, June 23rd is a national day of action. So we're going to do something locally. Um, yeah, so that's the planning um, thing here. Uh, I have to admit, I, I'm, I'm feeling a little overburdened right now. Um, I'm helping um, Abdul's group with a bunch of um, candidate endorsements. And so I, that's got my attention. And then my bread club is starting up a new season. So that's where my head is. So I'm going to be fairly, I, 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 I'm going to be kind of low energy. I mean, I will be present. I will help out as much as I can. But I have to say that I'm not as like um, energetic creatively. So I think I will hope that Carol or Lisa or one of you guys will maybe pick up the slack. Um, but uh, anyway, so, um, so yeah, um, what I can do, I know I can do is I can contact um, MLive to let them know about our action. I've got a pretty good relationship with Ryan Stanton and um, Stan, Stan Morosky and then the photographer too. I, I'd be happy to let them know about what's going on. And then I'd also be happy to uh, send out word to the um, A2B2 list, inviting people to join. I know I can do that much. Um, and then of course I can, I can um, help with the rally on uh, Tuesday. And um, my, my thoughts are that, yes, let's definitely be present um, in public places uh, on Tuesday the 23rd, but I thought equally as important, uh, we should also write letters to our elected officials, you know, in, in Congress, encouraging them to support, you know, financial relief for the um, Postal Service because that's critical to keeping them alive because they, they're they in danger of, um, <laughs> running out of money by September, which is really bad timing with the election in November. So I, I, I would suggest that, yeah, that we uh, strongly encourage the um, the letter writing, uh, emailing and phone calling to elected officials on that day too. Um, so that's my two cents with Carol, take it away. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see if I can't put my visual on. Yes. You can go off and we'll see if that helps this call. Okay, so uh, what I'm doing is um, I have just collected a bunch of cardboard and Bob is painting the cardboard white so that we will have plenty of signs that are to the gist of save the U.S. or save the public U.S. post office. I'm hoping to get the word public in there. Um, by the the way everybody on the call your input is valued so i will jump in and as we're talking not know what you'd like to say and let's see if we can make this um a joint effort you know, then by a group instead of just one or two people i would love very much for us to work as a team yeah. hey carol so what i have done carol your um, audio is really choppy. Can, can you yeah. do something to improve it? We're, I'm hearing like every other word. Um, is there any way you can change that? Um, just hate to miss out on what you're saying. Okay, say something. Oh, yes. Is it any better yes. now? Yes, much better. Yeah. Okay, well, I'd like to know if you can hear me better. Yeah. Okay, I've turned my video off. Yeah. We won't do that. I'm going to turn just my talk. video off too. Okay, so, sure. There you uh, go. Please, if you can't hear, I need to know. All right, so what I have done is I have emailed to Linda and Lisa a list of the six area post offices. There's four in Ann Arbor and there's two in Ipsy. I would like to put out for the group to consider that we show up at those six locations mm -hmm. uh, either at the same time if we've got enough people involved or consecutively where we start out at one and uh, we're assigned to a second one. Yeah. So maybe we start out with three groups and those three groups go to a second post office location. Right. I don't think we should pin all our hopes on reaching people by just going to the Liberty location. Right, right. So, um, I have pasted those locations and addresses and hours onto the A squared document, like mm -hmm. Ron asked. And so uh, the document is there and open. It used to be, I could see it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I still have it there. I can still see what I wrote. 
Okay, so we'll make it so that you can go there and type things and read things from that document. Right. Um, so the thinking then uh, is to show up at the post office location like Whole Foods where we go for at least 45 minutes, oh, yeah. perhaps an hour or so, and then go to the second location. That's my two cents. I'd love to hear from other people. Yeah, yeah. Over. Um, yeah. Um, can, uh, L Linda here, can I can I say something? All right, I will. Yep. Okay, great. Yeah, thanks, Carol. Yeah, I like the idea of being at many different locations too. Um, yeah, I, I I think that logistically, mm, yeah, right. Um, I'm wondering if um, I, I definitely think that if we have if we're at if we have different times of the day when people show up, that kind of gives people flexibility with their schedules. Because I know that personally, not that this should be a deciding factor. Um, Bob and I will be out of town till about three in the afternoon, so we can't participate until. Three. So I anticipate other people might have schedule issues too. And so my thought in terms of planning, just to make it super simple, because Lisa Carajara was also telling me super simple too, um, that we just um, uh, maybe choose teams of two for each of the six area post offices, and then they choose the time and they and they kind of just control that that spot. And so I just thought that would be easier. And, and I thought in that way, Bob and I could easily step up and, and um, you know, um, uh, uh, captain, captain a post um, at the time were convenient. I, you know, so I just thought in the interest of planning and simplicity, we could do it that way, you know, rather than trying to- I think to that's great. Mm -hmm. I think what you're saying is we're going to, um, that people are gonna volunteer to be the um, uh, squad leaders yes at a particular location at a particular yeah. time at a particular time right and they and they invite the people to join them i figure as long as we have two people uh, at each station then that's good for safety and, and camaraderie and yeah so i just thought we could do that uh, I, yeah. I would like to recommend that we put out one schedule okay and that it be comprehensive in that we list the locations and what times people will be there oh yeah oh yeah that's great yep yeah, we can probably, um, yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah, if we could confirm us, we could probably put, put together um, a schedule right today and then build on it as in the coming days. And then I could actually get that message out to the A2, B2 email list fairly quickly and, and have people jump on. But Well, we need, we need people because yeah. what you're suggesting, and I agree with, yeah. is that there be two people per location. So we right. need 12 12 volunteers. Right. I, I think at least that's yeah. targeted. Yeah. I, I think the first thing that we do is I mean, what I like to do first is just to kind of first, you know, kind of commit to the 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 locations th that we where we have two people right away and then just kind of add on to it from there and then and then yeah, just you know, if we're able to fill all six locations, terrific. But if we can't, then that's just the way it goes. We'll I mean if we're just that, well, that's I think I think we are okay. So this is the 18th. The we 20th. have we have one, two, three, four, five days, and we don't want to get the information out on the 23rd. So we no. really only have three days to put this together. Yeah. Who's with us? Who's going to do this? Who so are on, if you're on the call, do you commit? I Bob and I commit. We'll take a shift. Yeah, I'll take a shift. Thank Who you. Who said that? May Lynn. Thank you, May okay, Lynn. Can you find yourself another person to do it with you? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay. So May Lynn, you're committing to two. Um, the locations are in Ipsy. There's one on downtown Ipsy on Adams Street, one on Huron Street, and then in Ann Arbor, there's four locations, Liberty, Stadium, Green, and South U. Which one do you want? Um, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Maybe stadium. Did you say okay. stadium? You got stadium. All right. No problem. 
Okay, so Maylin, what time on Tuesday the 23rd do you want to be there with the other person? Um, let me think. Um, okay, before the call ends, I, I need that answer, okay? Yeah. Okay, I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to pressure you on the spot right now. I'm yes. just thinking we can make really good progress in yeah. this call yeah. if we focus on answers. Yeah. Okay, so Linda and Bob. Yes. What place? What place do you want of the other five locations? Um, I would say Ann Arbor would probably more be more convenient, but we could also do some place in Ipsy. Um, yeah. Why don't you pick? What, I know Stadium would be kind of fun for you because that's near your home, but you and I both will go anywhere, right? Right. Right. So yeah. uh, you want Ann Arbor? Okay. Do you want Liberty Green or South U? Liberty Green or South U? Um, we'll do Liberty. Liberty. Okay. All right. Um, and what time? And then, well, that's it. What time? Um, I would say uh, 4 p.m. Okay. And it's going to be from 4 p.m. to? Uh, at least 5 p.m. Okay. Um, maybe since people, a lot of people drive or are on the road at 5, could you commit to uh, like 5.30 or 6? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. And what? Uh, four so think about it. Give me yeah. an answer. Yes. Are, are you thinking later is better? Like, you know, no. so we can be there around no, five I, minutes or what? No, I'm not saying any time is better. Anytime, anytime we sh personally, I think the act of doing this, but see, we have to create something that we can advertise and we want to get this out and we want to get people to participate. There's plenty of people in Ann Arbor, lots on your list, who want to do something for the post office. But right. if they don't hear about what we're doing, It'll just be a couple of us in each location. So we got to get this out, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Maylin, Bob and I are getting together to paint signs. Do you want to participate in the sign painting? Or do you just want to pick up some signs? Uh, when are you going to do it? Well, we don't know yet. Bob hasn't let me know. But uh, whenever we can in the next three days. Okay. Yeah. I, I can try to come. Just let me know. Okay. Uh, now, one of the reasons we, Bob and I have volunteered to do this is, you know, we're going to letter with brushes and make them very readable. Are you on board with that, or would you prefer to just pick up a sign? I don't understand what you're saying about, so you want somebody with good penmanship? Is that what you're saying? No, not penmanship, uh, brush, painting oh. with a brush. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can do that. You good with that? Yeah. I okay. Mean, so as soon as Bob and I figure out when we're going to do the signs, we'll invite you to join us. Okay. Yeah. I will say, uh, I'll say 3.30 for me, my time. Yeah. Off the top of my head. To start? To start yeah. at 3.30? Yeah. Can you run I, it for two hours? I, you know, I'm wondering if morning would be better. Yeah. I don't know. I, yes. I okay. It's nice to have round the clock. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'll do morning. Um, okay. I'll Let me know when before you leave the call. Hi, Lisa. I see you're driving. Hi. Hi, Lisa. So, um, so what we're what we're trying to do with this call is schedule teams of two people to be at one of the each of the six post office locations at some time during the day. And if we can schedule that now, we'll be able to advertise it and get people there to join us. Okay. We also need to find a total of about 12 people so that we have two people at each location. So on this call, we've got May Lynn and a friend doing one, Linda and Bob doing another, me and I'll find a friend to do the other. And we need to then get three more pairs of people. And if Lisa, you would volunteer to take one that, that reduces it down. The goal is to get something we can advertise like tomorrow so that we can tell people where we're gonna be, when we're gonna be and join us. Okay. Um. So uh, what we have left, Lisa, is if go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. What we have left is 
Uh, the two Ipsy locations, the uh, Ipsy Post Office. Shoot, I just lost my visual. Here we go. Uh, one on Adams Street downtown, the other one on Huron Street, a little bit south of town near 94. And then we have not also claimed Green Road in Ann Arbor and South U in Ann Arbor. Which one would you like? Are you asking me, Lisa? Yes. Oh, uh, probably Ipsy. All right. Okay. Would you like downtown or Huron? Um, either one is fine. Huron Street. I've been there before. Okay. I'll put you down for Huron. Me too. Yeah. Huron's good. Okay. So, Lisa, will you be able to find one other person to do it with you so that we have a team of two squad leaders? Well, I'm going to try. So, if not, I can get Ernie. Um, so you can put well, me down for two people. Okay. Well, I mean, when we advertise, yeah. Well, when we advertise this, we can get. Some Um, probably from like two to four. Okay, to get your phone up, I don't know if you heard us, but two to four, you got it. Okay, and you're on. Okay, um, Linda, yeah. you're you and Bob are going to do four p.m. to six. Uh, let's see, the Huron, or I'm sorry, the Liberty Post Office is open till six. Right. Do you want to do four to six? Yes. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. And May Lynn, the stadium post office say, is open. I'm listening. Yeah. Uh, what time do they open in the morning? Because I was going to say like 9.30 in the morning. Is this May Lynn? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, May Lynn. I just don't have any visuals and I can't tell who's speaking. Okay. May Lynn. Um, Let's see. You've got you've got stadium. Stadium is open from eight o'clock in the morning till seven o'clock at night. I'm going to say nine thirty in the morning. Nice. Okay. Can you take it from nine thirty to eleven thirty? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you are our squad leader there at stadium. I'm sorry, at Liberty. Excuse me, stadium, give my facts straight. Stadium from 9.30 to 11.30, you will bring a partner. You'll maybe text it and let let Linda know or let me know, and I will add it to our document. Right. Um, we, well, anyways, uh, I'll talk to Ron about the purpose of this document. I think it would be good that this document is information we're sharing with each other yeah. and that we use it for planning. So yeah. that's the goal yeah. here. Right. Okay. Um, I'm going to add your name, Maylin, to the call. Is there anybody else on the call? Maylin, how do I spell your name? M E I hyphen lowercase l i n. Thank you so much. I got it now. Um, is there anybody else on the call who would like to step up and um, be a squad leader just to hold down the fort for two hours at a post office location? Mm hmm. Ken, are you on the call? Did you want to do this? I don't think anybody else is on the call. Yeah, yeah. I, th I, th I think we, uh, they might have ducked out, Carol. Yeah. Okay, so how, so um, Linda and May Lynn and Lisa, how do we get the other key people? Right now we've got six people, we hope. Mm -hmm. um, for sure we have four. Yeah. Plus me, we have five, six. We have six people, but we don't have twelve yet. So we got to find six other people that are going to step up. Um, I, I have an easy solution. Um, uh, um, give me the lo the locations that we need to fill, and then I will send out an email to the A two B two list because um, people have been responding to the invitation to to join our in person meetings, and this will be a nice way to. Um, invite them back in. So what are the two locations? I mean, and I can, I can send okay. out. Okay, I, I sent it to you, but I will resend it. 
Okay. Uh, it was in, it was in, uh, I think an email. Yes. It, well, whatever. I'll resend it. Okay. It's also on the document. Maybe you could go to the document. Um, um the uh, A squared document. Okay. It, it's there. Is it the Google Doc? Okay. Yes. So our goal is to identify. So we'll tell the people where they have. I'll, I'll make you a chart that you can include in your email, and it will clearly show where we've got openings for time and people. Okay. And then you'd send it out to your A2, B2 list and say, hot, you know, we need people to step up and offer to do this. Hey guys, I'm back again now. Carol, can you hear me? Carol? Yeah. Hey, sorry, I'm not yes. gonna bouncing around. Can you just yes. tell, tell me the two locations that need to be uh, filled? It, can you just tell me verbally? Cause I, I just tried to go to the document and There's then- I Okay, you don't want to skip this information. You don't want to not see it because it has addresses and hours oh, yeah. on it. No, no, no. Okay? I, I will. I will include that in the email. But I, I'm just taking notes right now. I mean, yeah, what, for right now. Sure. Yeah. yeah what okay. So, Gypsy Post Office on Adams. I'm sorry. Could Gypsy you Post Office on Adams is open? Okay. Check the chat. I just put the link for the Google Doc. It's a Bitly link, A2M4A. Okay, all and right. It's in the chat one. Okay, thank you. So, um, the Ipsy Post Office on Adams, and what is the other, um, what is the other one? There are two more. Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Um. Okay. The other two. The other two are Ann Arbor. Green. One is Green Road, and the other one is South Hugh. Right. And now, which one are you going to take? Oh, yes. Well, there you go. I need to select one. Yeah. Um, I'll take uh, Downtown Ipsy. Okay, great. Th that's the Adam Street one, then. Okay, great. So that leaves us with only... Yes. Um, so... So, okay. So Lisa and I both need to find a partner. May Lynn, are you real sure you've got a partner? Uh, okay, I think she's off the call. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, her daughter always shows up with her. I, 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 there's no problem, yeah. Okay, so she does one. So we've got two people on, on her location. We've got two people on your location. We've got one on Lisa's and one on mine. Is that yeah. right, Lisa? Yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah. let me send Linda. I will send you a chart that will help explain to your A two B two audience. Yes. Where we're going to be, and what information we haven't decided yet, like time and the two squad leaders. Right. Right. Got it. Okay. Very good. Um. Yeah. So just I have some ideas for logistics. Um. Let me know when I can chime in. I'm good. Okay. Go ahead. All right. So it sounds like we are painting signs um, this weekend, and we'll put out the invitation. Uh, Carol, as soon as you figure out a day and location, let me know. Or maybe you can decide, like, at the end of this call. No. We're not inviting a lot of people to that. Oh, right. Okay. Never mind. Only people who, who can paint with brushes, right? Yeah. Looks like Lisa's got her hands on. Well, she, she's, she's got quite the artistic eye. Hi, I just wanted to say that I have um, some white and blue and red paint um, that I've been waiting to use so I can bring some paint and some brushes that I have. Great. Good, good. So mainly it's what's happening here, Lisa. I don't know if you heard this, but no, I, I jumped in late. Yeah, I collected a bunch of cardboard and I ran it over to Bob and he's painted it white. And I now need to hear from him when he's going to be available to also letter signs. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 I suggested we do it in the morning. Yeah. Like uh, Friday morning um, or Saturday morning. Uh, Friday and Saturday morning won't work. Bob works mornings, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Let me pull him. Let me, let me get him on this call guys. I'll be right back. Okay, great. Lisa, what are good times for you to paint science? Me? 
I'm flexible. Uh, decide on a time when you want to paint signs with if I'm you sorry. want to be a part of it. She's trying to nail down a time so she can. Lisa, yeah. when can you paint signs? I'm flexible. So Me too. I can work around Linda sounds like she's got a tight schedule so I can work around things. Yeah, it's it's like there's only going to be like three or four people. Okay. Signs. We're not having a big Message party. We, maybe I'll know more. Yeah, we, we want people who uh, are good with brushes and can make very readable signs. Right. So um, that's Linda. It, as, as, as soon as the time gels, I will let you know and hopefully it gels today. Okay, let me check a message here. So you will not be painting. Saturday noon. Hey guys, I'm back. Hi. Hi. Um, hey Carol. Hi Linda. Your um Bob will have your signs painted white by Friday evening, 8 p.m., and he'll drop them off at your house. Um, unfortunately, he really doesn't have time to help you decorate the sign, so that's all he can do. But um, but but you will have the white by tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Okay, Lisa, looks like you and I are the letters, and also perhaps Maylin. So the question is, um, when on Saturday would you be available to paint signs? Um, I would be available Saturday morning or Saturday night. I'm also available Sunday morning or Sunday night. Okay, uh, I think or I'm all day Monday. time block. How about if we shoot for Saturday morning? Okay. And get this done. Okay. And so, like I said, uh, I have a, a gallon of white paint. I have some red, blue, yellow spray paint. I have some blue and light blue jars of paint. So I probably have enough okay. where we can make up a few signs. It's the post office, and we mostly, I think, want to use blue. Okay. You know, post office blue. Okay. I got I'm enough blue for a few signs. Colors, but for sure, post office blue. Good. And I think I do, too. All right. So uh, tell me when on Saturday. Uh, my garage, or your garage. Uh, the signs will be at my house, but I can haul them over to your no, house. No, I'll come you to your house because it's easier. Um, you have all the stuff, and I'm not yeah. far. Um, so I can yeah, come early if, you, uh, if you're up early. Yeah. What time early is for you? I don't know, 8, 9? What time you want to come? Let's shoot for 8, 30. Okay. I'll bring a coffee to go okay. and cool. uh, my paint supplies. Great. All right, um, we, I'll be ready, and that's what we'll do. I'll have two surfaces or more. If Maylin can, can join, uh, I'll try to have three. Okay, we're good. The signs, I mean, the purpose of the signs, of course, is to say something along the lines of save the public U.S. post office, right? Right. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah, vote by mail. I'm personally... I'm, Go ahead. No, no, no. Uh, you know, vote by mail, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> yeah. No, no. I think that, that I, I'm sure, I think that muddies the water. The uh, whole purpose of this is save the U.S. Post yeah, Office. Yeah. I agree with vote by mail. I think that's important. Right. I just think that, I don't know. I, you know what? Let me bow to the group. This was from my the car topper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I yeah. put some stamps on it and a flag. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. No, I, I, Carol, your messaging is terrific. I, I defer to you. No worries. Go for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I agree with vote by mail, but we don't want to necessarily get into voting because then there's prescription by mail. There's a whole bunch of reasons yeah, to yeah. have a post office, yeah, right? Yeah. And how, how about public banking at the post office? Yeah. Right. But right now we need to save. Yeah. So right. Let's go for that. Right. Okay. Terrific. Okay, so what me, really important then is uh, uh, a moment here. It's, I, think, I think it's important when you're telling people we want to save it, at least one or more reasons why, whether it be voting or prescriptions or you know, communications for people in rural areas. You know what? Maybe the finer details can be communicated in a handout. Uh, should we create a little handout for people? Um, 
would, would I mean, is, is that is that safe? Is that uh, healthy to pass out handouts these days? You can you can ha you can touch mail. If you can touch mail, I don't see why you can't touch a handout. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I was thinking maybe if you want to get into detail, one of us could create a handout. How's that sound? And, and a real easy thing would be chance. Would be what was that, Ron? Chance. 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 What's like, that? No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. Oh, no peace. yeah, yeah, chance. Yeah, right, right. You don't even have to, that's the easiest. No extra work. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm I love, it. That. Okay. love it, love it. Go ahead. Right. Well, there's more than two people, I agree. Yeah. Beautiful. So, the, so the, the work we have to cut out for us, I, I think chants are great. And if uh, we can get some chants shared amongst the people on this call, that would be great. Let's put the chants on our Google Doc yeah. so that we all have access to read that and put any thoughts you have, get it on that Google Doc, yes. right? Yes. Okay. So, but... The urgency is to get those signs painted and dry. Yes, yes. And then secondly, the squad leaders will be responsible for making sure they have at least two signs, if not more, mm -hmm. at their location. So we're going to need a minimum of 12 signs, right? Or try to. Right, right. I mean, if we leave one post office location, if nobody wants to go there, that's fine. But I think it would be awesome mm. if we showed up during the day at the six post offices. Yes, yes. You know? And may I also suggest that um, each squad leader, when they arrive at the post office, they bring a treat for the postal workers indoors and just explain why, and explain who we are and why why we're doing this and that we support them. May, may I also suggest that? Sure. Yeah. And we, invite, suggestion. we invite the postal workers to join us for a little bit if they can. I took the DJ's Bakery um, cookies and donuts to the downtown post office. Right. Um, I asked my mail person and found out how many people approximately work there. Mm. Um, they had 45 to 50 people. So they have a lot downtown there. Right. Um, right. So I tried to take enough for one or two for everybody. But I just mm. thought that was a super kind gesture. And people right. love to be recognized, mm. love yeah. food. Yeah, and I just think the postal workers also they come to your community. Um, mm -hmm. You know, right? That's cool. so. Any goodwill gestures go super long way. Yeah, yeah. It's like bringing flowers to the secretary at my kid's school. Like mm -hmm. it gets you so much mileage. People don't even understand that. Like mm -hmm. people get neglected and they mm -hmm. don't get these um, personal gestures. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think it would be a great idea. Mm -hmm. Actually, this was Lisa's idea. Um, yeah, we work so closely together. It's hard to know where one idea comes, starts, and one idea ends. Yes, this was this was inspired by what Lisa told me she did the last time. So credit to you, Lisa. Yes, that's where that came from. Mm -hmm. may, may I also? Okay. So, go ahead. Oh, then ahead. Um, as far as pickup of the signs, I um, do you think that maybe we could have people come to the A two B two meeting Monday and pick up their signs? Does that make sense? Um, just as a central location or something? Perfect, that's absolutely perfect. Okay, and then we can fine tune details on at the meeting too. I could deliver signs if somebody can't make it to the meeting. Oh, um, I have you. free time like after the meeting to thank drop you. off signs. Thank you, thank you. So but I we will- some sign delivery. Thank you. But we will encourage people to come sure. to the meeting so we can have them there. But thanks, Lisa, appreciate sure. it. Yeah, great. Well, we're so organized, this is awesome. Okay, so um, I need Bob to tell me how many signs he painted white um, so me... that I'll know how many we have because we'll need a minimum of 12, and okay. if we can get more, that'd be even better. Okay, I'll make sure that he paints a minimum of 12. And guys, don't forget, we've got those beautiful, colorful USPS um, signs on sticks that are at May Lynn's house. We can use those at any any one of those locations, too. Have you seen those, Carol? Definitely. Yeah. I mean, no, I haven't. I don't know what else is there. I just know that each post office location. So this email you send out, 
today, hopefully, yes. Yes. it's going to be really important. Okay. Uh, we had, and, and I would like to structure it now, this email, make sure that we get the, all the points covered that we want covered in that okay. email. Okay, structure away. And, and, well, the reason I'm raising this question is that this email is critical at getting the other squad leaders and making this a success because we want lots of people to show up at all six locations, right? Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. right, right. Okay, so um, I, I think that one of the things that we're doing on that day that you recommended very strongly is write letters. So we need to communicate that we want everyone in A squared, A2, B2 to write letters to save the post office. And email? we would like to have, I think, pardon? Can it be an email? That's a cop out. We want letters. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. Right? We're All right. supporting the post office. Okay. I mean, I could be wrong, but no, no, no I the, the whole thing is the post office. I love it. I love it. Okay. Yeah. Great. Great. Do you agree, Lisa? Do you agree? I mean, do you think I'm being too difficult? Um, I know last time we were encouraging people to call Debbie Stabenow and Gary Peters, and we had the phone numbers available, so that was our messaging last time. Hmm. Yeah. I don't okay. Know. Well, I, let's ask him to do both. I think whatever ask method people are comfortable reaching out with, that's all we can ask of them. Um, hmm. To be so specific, you might Agreed, get people to say, I'm not going to write a letter, forget it. Hmm. Mm. Right. Okay. okay, but we're all about the post office here, right? So mm. I, I would love for us to strongly recommend that people write letters to their congresspeople. It's not that hard to do. Yeah. Uh, so I, just, can we yeah. ask them to lobby Congress? Yes. And that we recommend they consider both ways, all three ways, emails, calls, yeah. and to actually do all three. We don't have to contact our Congress people one way, one time. Right. We could call them every day. We right. can email them every day. We right. can write letters every other day. I mean, rep repetition is good. They hear from lobbyists repetitively, right? Yeah, yeah right. Um, I think okay, I can, so lobby yeah. Congress. Right? Yeah, lobby Congress. Love it. I, I like the idea of um, encouraging people to do it. Well, any way they like. Do we want to focus to have them do it on the 23rd so it's like a mass like a uh, action thing or can they do it like over the course of a week? Uh, what's your thought? Yeah. Well, I'd like to encourage them to start on the 23rd and yeah. do it until September when they've got funding. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I think that's I mean, good. if you're going to lobby, I, I can guarantee you the paid lobbyists don't do one call and then you're right. say, check, I'm yeah. done. <laughs> yep, 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 great. I, 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 I agree with you, um, Carol. I think um, it's okay to ask a lot of people because um, the post office is at a really critical stage. They could go out of business by September. So this is emergency measure. So yeah, I'd be willing to commit to doing all three and, and I, I feel comfortable asking folks to do all three too. And I, I think it's especially charming and meaningful to try to write that letter too, because this, you know, this is after all the post office. And, and I think people have said, I know myself personally, they pay attention to letters because they're the most personal form of communication other than talking just because it's slower and more, um, it takes more effort to yeah. look up an address, get yeah. a stamp, get an envelope, and right. use a pen, right? Or in my case, if I could buy a new printer, I'll use my printer. I can bring envelopes and stamps and paper to the uh, Bernie meeting. Just oh, my gosh. That would be so sweet, Lisa. Right? And I could fold it all up and just hand it to everybody so that they have Sometimes when it's in your hand, you're more apt yeah, to do it. Too. That's nice. That's really nice. I like that. I like that. Cool. Cool. Very nice. Okay. Beautiful. That is an awesome idea yeah. for facilitating that. Yeah. And to, you know, so the, the email will talk about lobbying Congress and then the email will talk to the squad leaders about um, like doing what Lisa did, which is call the post office they're assigned to, find out how many people work there, mm -hmm. and then go buy enough cookies to cover that. 
Got it. So uh, cookie, the the cook. What what do you want to call that, Lisa? Well, I mean, I would say any local business. Use any local business to buy some, you know, appreciation well, what token. Do you call the cookie thing? What's yeah. that? Uh, um, um, okay. How about thank you cookie? Can we call it that? Thank you cookies. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, thank you. Well, I'm just token of appreciation. In this yeah. Case. Yeah. Yeah. So Lisa or or Linda, then we'll we'll put in that email the the details that Lisa is talking about. Yes. I will call it number two. Thank you, cookies. Thank and cookies are good because in the day of COVID, you know, you want them to be able to just grab something right. and walk away, right? Right, right. Yep, yep. Very good. Or whatever, you know, I, I don't mean it has to be. No, I know. It could, could be thank you cupcakes. I don't care. Thank you bagels, whatever. It's just right. something, right. right? Yeah. Okay. And then the third thing is we need that email to tell people we need some squad leaders. Yes to step in yes and uh like i say i will send you a chart that has the six locations mm -hmm. and it will be it will if the time has been assigned it will have the time mm -hmm. and then it will have person uh squad leader one and squad leader two and like for your location at liberty it's going to be bob bob and linda okay sure. we'll just use first names sure okay and what's real important for them to do when they offer to do this is we need their contact information and we need to fill them in on any details that we're not covering in the email. Yeah. And we will encourage them to come to the Monday's 7 p.m. A to B to meeting to finalize details. Um, yeah. Yeah. I do. Right. Perfect. But before then, but before then, we must, in fact, uh, maybe squad leadership should should be number one in the email because we need yes. right away yes asap hot we need uh six good people to step up to the plate and help us right carol I, i'm i'm kind of um i have different numbers from you i only i see us we have six posts post offices we have to cover it seems like we've covered four of them so that only leaves two post offices Two no, no, Lisa, Lisa needs a partner and I need a partner. Oh, well. Um, That's why we need two more people. Oh, we I, need six. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, got I it. I have Ernie for backup. So if somebody volunteers, they could go to an unmanned spot. Yeah, right. 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 Because um, I can bring Ernie or I could probably recruit a friend um, yeah. before that too. Yeah. Okay, great. Unless somebody's yeah, dying to uh, partner up with me. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead cool. okay so um i i think we're good i mean yeah. i don't think it's unreasonable to ask any person who's willing to help out to step up i don't want someone to say oh well i want liberty no it's taken we need you right. to oh yeah up for a different location oh yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, but this is just squad leaders the right. participants the other sign holders can go anywhere they want right right, right. they can show up when they want, where they want, but we need commitment from six squad leaders. Yes. How soon do you want that commitment? Wow. Shouldn't it be by Sunday? All right. Sunday night. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking, I mean, yeah, I think so. Otherwise we'll not be able, because what we want to do is um, actually we need to have it by Saturday night. Right. Right. Because, yeah. I would say because, Saturday. Hello. Yeah, because we need to tell the A two B two meeting people when. Hello. Hello. I'm here. Go ahead. Hi, I can hear you, Linda. Yeah, we go ahead, Carol. We can hear so you. So we can tell the people at the okay at the A two B two meeting. We want to tell them what time at each location. R right. And we won't know that until Saturday night when we have commitment. Okay, got it. Got it. Okay, Saturday p end of end of day Saturday. How and yeah, and let's get Misha involved and see if he can't do a mailchimp to send out this schedule we work out. All right. 
Sounds good. All right, cool. Do we have any other small groups idea? that we could send it to to get participants? Like, I feel like we can get the squad captains and the yeah, partner, squad. but I feel like how many people are really going to show up? Um, yeah. Maybe, maybe we encourage each squad captain right. to reach out to their personal networks. How's that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Oh, definitely. But still, I, this is, it's time to start having ways to, to get the information about events out there right away so that, you know, how many people in this area want to have the post office? Lots. And we have, ways to spread out mm -hmm. you know so that's why i you know two signs per location is not enough there needs to be more well there's Did also lots of Maylin other protests happening signs? like during the weekend um so mm -hmm. people might be uh overly committed to those activities there's something friday saturday sunday monday in ann arbor and ipsy too um mm -hmm. Mm. So I just worry about people not being available to come out um, for that reason. For the mm -hmm. No, Is I'm saying the there's Black Lives Matter rally, Survivor Speaks, the Juneteenth. Um, there's so many other events happening every day mm. that I'm not sure we should expect a huge turnout other than the squad captains and one or two extra people, mm. which is fine. You know, it's mm -hmm. still fine. Yeah, I think. You're right. Right. Well, um, I just would like for us as instators to have some reliable systems in place to reach lots of people. Linda, your A to B to list is huge and very important. And uh, there's the Washington Reds, and I think they will be a, a very good connection. I will definitely reach out to them. Okay. What was there was a group they, when we were out they, on the, the reason uh, I know about them. Is, there was a group when we were in front of Whole Foods on the general strike May first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you know that group of people, Carol? Yeah. I I think those are the Washtenaw Reds. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yes, I remember the Washtenaw. They seem very friendly, like another small group of people. So I was thinking of uh, something like that. I don't have a huge contact base, and my contacts aren't uh, protest so, people. Lisa, so, are you up for? So, Lisa, um, we're going to do night on Saturday morning. We'll be knocking out at least, yep. days, if not more. I'm up for it. I'm getting lots of sleep the night before. Okay. I've been painting okay. furniture and signs and all kinds of stuff. So I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. Great. Hey guys, there's this. Excellent. Song. Do you, how many US CBS post office signs do you have? What was that? Uh, Lisa. How many save the U.S. signs do you have? I just have one. I have some cardboard. I can make I other signs. Um, but I have one that I use for my wrap around my Bernie car topper. Got it. Okay, well, um, if you could bring a few more white sure. cardboards, you know, like painted white cardboard, that would be great okay. on Saturday. I can do that. And um, I think Bob has at least eight. So we have a minimum of 12, but hopefully we'll have more. Okay. Great. Linda? Yes. Hi, Carol. How's that sound to you? I, I'm sorry. What I was uh, uh, daydreaming. What was that last point? <laughs> <laughs> Could you repeat that? Please? How does all this sound to you? How does? Oh, yes. This sounds fabulous. How does? How does? Go ahead. Good. Yeah. No. Oh, how does this sound to you? Oh, uh, what is this? 
You mean everything we've been discussing so far? Or is there a- Yes. Oh yeah, sounds terrific. I'm, I'm really um, happy with all the planning that we've done in a short time. This is great, yeah. Uh, also, last time, I think we were encouraging people to reach out to their own personal mail carriers and thank them. Um, we put gift cards out for our mail carrier and thank you cards. And then I posted on my Nextdoor website for all my neighbors to also um, recognize the postal carriers and if they could make cards or any gesture that they could think of. Um, so just encouraging groups of people to also recognize that these are frontline workers who are not getting hazard pay, who are risking getting sick. Um, I know that not the postmaster general, but the second in command was in ICU for 14 days um, a couple of months ago and several carriers had were sick with COVID. So this is also something that they're dealing with in a personal way. Um, mm. Mm. So just ask people to reach out and ask their mail carriers how they're doing, right? How's, how's their life? And you might hear some shocking stories. I heard some shocking stories from my mail carrier. Mm -hmm. um, she mm -hmm. had people come live with her from family. So she was supporting extra people. Some of her coworkers were sick. One of her coworkers got beaten up. Like just things you wouldn't think of unless asked. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So I think that's a big part of the outreach too, like making huh. it personal. I heard, drill. And... Mm -hmm. I heard it drill. Hey, Linda, is Bob drilling no. in the background? Uh, no, he's not. He's in the basement. Um, yeah. Huh. Hmm. That was weird. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what I would like to check in with you now is with each of you, Linda and Lisa, would you please tell me what the sound quality was like from me? Um, after you turned off your uh, camera, you sounded pretty good. Okay. The sound quality was you, good up until about five seconds ago, and now I can't hear you. Hmm. All right. Um, Linda, yes, your sound quality to me was uh, good. Mm. Uh, there was a delay. It was a you know your mouth would move and then the sound would come later. Lisa, my uh, feedback to you, same thing. Sometimes there was some distortion. Sound quality was often good, but um there was some distortion well i only have my phone and i can't, that's all i can do i can't make any improvements mm. but yeah. i can usually hear everybody well, just fine um, i don't usually have a lot of issues yeah i'm talking about i'm talking about the format we're using if it's working or not mm. hey ron are you still on the call I am here. Apparently not. No, I'm okay, here. So, Ron. <laughs> okay, Ron. How was the sound quality for me? How how did you hear me? Okay, Ron, I can't understand you at all. Linda or yeah. Lisa, can you understand what he's saying? No, no. Ron, we're having trouble understanding you. Sorry. Okay, I'm just worried about the format we're using. It's this was one of the hardest chat calls I've done mm. with not being able to see people and the sound quality being bad. Um, um, we kind of need to work on this. Uh, I don't have any good ideas, but uh, this is not working all that good. 
Right. Okay. So, uh, Linda, you hear from me uh, by noon tomorrow. I'm sorry, Carol, you broke up. Could Regarding you your email. Could, um, could you I'll try to. Go ahead. Repeat. Yeah. So my, you can't you can't hear everything I'm saying, can you? Right. That sucks. Yeah. Okay. You will hear from me tonight. Okay. Definitely by noon tomorrow. Uh huh. What? Uh, are you drafting the email? Is that what you're offering? No. I remember. I told.